Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Lord. This is a day of salvation. A day where God is going to give us wisdom, knowledge to understand his true word. The word who give us life and the freedom. That's why today, as I say, glory be to the Lord, and you say, Amen, where you are, and listen to me now, as you listen to the Spirit of God, this is a time that we come together to receive a blessing from the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, brothers and sisters, we are going to study or learn something concerning the work that Jesus Christ has done for the whole humanity. And this will take us to the passage of John chapter 1, 29. The first reading we says come from the book of John, chapter twenty, chapter one twenty nine. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him, and said, "Look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. The Lamb of God." takes away the sin of the world. What that mean and what we can learn from this passage? According to the reading and according to what the Spirit just uh, give us uh, as uh, understanding or to know what is uh, hidden in this passage, I will tell you, brothers and sisters, that there is something that we may be clear about. Is this. I'm asking you now. Could you we say again that there is a, a sin in this world? Yes or no? According to uh, my own experience, through the Holy Spirit's teaching, I receive this uh, understanding or knowledge as uh, a preacher, as uh, a pastor, to let you know today that there is no sin in this world anymore. That will be a surprise for you. There is no sin in this world any longer. And especially for those who believe in Christ Jesus. Because according to this reading in John, chapter 1, verse 29, the Bible says, the next day when John saw Jesus coming toward him, the Lord opened his eyes to see who is exactly Jesus. Because the first day when Jesus came to John the Baptist, Jesus asked John the Baptist to give him also to be baptized also. But uh, John was refusing, saying to Jesus, it's uh, not uh, me who are going to baptize you, but 
It's you, Jesus, who is going to baptize me. But Jesus replied and saying to John, John, let's now do what we must fulfill, what we must do, because this is the plan of God as I am in this world. This is all Jesus told to John. And John didn't resist anymore to what Jesus asked him to do concerning the baptism. And John baptized Jesus Christ that day. And when Jesus came out from the water, so there's a a loud voice resounding from the heaven and say, this is my love, my, be my begotten son, in whom I put my spirit. He will do the will of God. Brothers and sisters, the word of God is clear that uh, then the second day, when Jesus came into all John, but the Baptist, when John saw Jesus coming to all him, he said, Look, because God opened his eyes to see the reality concerning Jesus. Why Jesus has come to the world. He understood the message. And he said, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The sin of the world has been taken by Jesus Christ. The day John the Baptist baptized him in the, on, in the Jordan River. And that day, Jesus take, took the sin, the whole sin of the whole world upon him. That is why the next day, when John saw Jesus coming toward him, he just said this, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Do you believe this message? If yes, this is the way of a salvation. This is a way that you who agree or say yes or believe this message, that when Jesus came into this world, he came and took our sin away. He took our sin away. So where is the sin again? If you believe today, you are virtuous, you have a life, you are free indeed. That's why Jesus spoke to his disciples saying, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. When you hear this word now and you believe that Jesus when he came to this world, he took our sin away. And if you believe this message, that will give you privilege or give you a way to find or open your eyes to see Jesus face to face, to know who Jesus is. And then you are righteous because he took the sin of the world in which you are. As a sinner before, but now you are free from sin and you are righteous. Do you believe this? And if, uh, if yes, just say yes, I believe this, that's why I am now a child of God. 
That's why I am a, a newborn Christian, born again, and you are free from all your sin. And if we read also 1 John chapter 3, verse 5 and, is, is, and 6, the Bible says, But you know that he who, Jesus, appears so that he might take away our sin. Jesus appeared to take away our sins. And in him is no sin at all. So no one who lives in him keeps on sinning. Keep on sinning. No one who continues, continues to sin has either seen him or know, known, know, known him. If you say you believe, what do you believe? Yes, I, I trust you as you listen to this message. You believe that Jesus is the Lamb of God who, takes, who took the sin of the world away and there is no sin anymore. And that's why the Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, 5, 6, that uh, you know this clearly, that uh, he has come or appeared so that he might take away our sins. And uh, as uh, he, takes, he takes away our sin, he has, he has to die because of the sin. And uh, that's why he was crucified unto the cross and died and buried, and after that third days, he risen from the dead. And here Jesus here, here with us, to a new life. That's why the Bible says, if someone is in Christ, it's a, a new creation. The old thing has passed, has gone. Everything has become now new. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says clearly, and it and in him, no sin in who? Jesus. But where, 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 where the sin come from? To put on him. It's our sin. It's our disobedience. Because the Bible says clearly, by the disobedience of one person, Adam. So we all put to, into sin. And then, by the obedience of one who is a Jesus, many will be justified. That's why when you believe today, you are justified. You are justified because Jesus took our sin away. And that's why he died on the cross and be buried. And the third day, he came to life. And will live forever and forevermore. If you you are you receive Jesus today, your sin is gone, and you live a life of a, a free life without sin. Because the Bible says, Jesus in Jesus there is no sin. So if you are saying that you are in Jesus and you continue sinning, that means you don't know him. You don't know him and you don't see him or see him and know him. You are a liar. And you are lying to yourself. Because God is God. He is God on, on, in his own. He done this one for all to give us a perfection, to give us a life and an abundance and also to become a righteous people in him. Jesus said, if you abide in me and me in you, in John chapter 15, you are my real disciple 
and that you can do a lot of things in my name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So there is no sin anymore in this world for those who believe in Christ because you are now in the world of Christ. Like the Bible says, we are in the world, but we do not belong to the world. We belong to Christ. As Paul said, it's no longer me who live, but Jesus Christ lives in me. Hallelujah. In Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. If you are in Christ, you are a new creation. creation you are a new creation. Yes, or creation. The old thing has gone. This is not my language. I just learned it. So, that's why it is very important that when you are in Christ, you are a new creation. And the whole thing, the old thing has gone. You are righteous in Jesus. You are righteous and become a child of God now. If you believe this, say, yes, I believe. And then you are saved for eternal life in Jesus' name. May God bless you and bless you again and again and again and again in Jesus' name. You just hear a message from your brother, his name Yesunyo Uiram Maulolo Avwajidula Avwajidula from a True Forgiveness Mission Australia. May God bless you. Amen.